Good morning, JMV. Today is Thursday, October 20th. I am Joey McJilton. And I'm Caroline Gilmore. Please stand for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The following students should report to the cafeteria immediately following the morning announcements to meet with Ms. Hanna concerning their PSAT answer sheets. Isaiah Nichols, Michael Cheers, Christopher Himmon, T Tai Lee Yi Pham, Cole Nestor, Brenda Pinda, Jayla Nutter, Darlene Darius, Vladimir Darius, Chase Dozier, Edmund St. Louis, Christiel Lewis, Berta Estrada, Gideon Elias, Pierre Edmond, Muriel Massadu, Connor Mall, Dariana Castellanos Moran. Juniors and seniors, if you are driving to school, you must purchase a parking permit and display it on your window by October 31st. After that, we will be monitoring the parking lot and violators will be ticketed. The ASVAB will be administered on Friday, October 28th at 8 a.m. in the Media Center. Interested students must sign up in the guidance office. The Research Club will be meeting on Monday, October 24th, right after school in G218. The Breakdance Club meeting originally scheduled for today after school has been canceled. Please stay tuned to WJME for the next meeting date. Last Saturday, our JMB Marching Band and Color Guard took their second place group three competition at Del Mar Vacade, a band show at the County Stadium. Our season ends this weekend at Epicue High School for the Tournament of Bands Chapter 9 Championships. Let's wish our band and guard the best of luck this weekend as they form Chapter Championships on Saturday night. Now over to Caroline for the rest of the announcements. Thanks, Joey. Jostin's representatives will be at school on Wednesday, October 26th, during lunches to take cap and gown orders. Information packets with complete ordering instructions have been handed out to seniors. If you did not receive one, you may pick one up in the school office. Jostin's will also be taking ring orders for all other classes. Many of the JMB's sports teams were in action on Tuesday. JV Girls Volleyball won 2-0 against Snow Hill. Lauren Ilya had 20 service points. McKenna had nine points and three kills. Varsity Volleyball also won 3-0. Cassie Lee Cates, Morgan Esham, and Ashlyn Brock played a strong offense with a total of 12 kills. In soccer, JV girls lost at the shipyard despite an outstanding performance from goalkeeper Annie Houndog Bassett. Varsity had a decisive 4-0 win over North Carolina. The Clippers, led by the impressive Annabelle Bedbugs Hoffman, dominated from start to finish with a delightful brand of entertaining soccer. The soccer team won its ninth game yesterday, 3-1 versus Easton. Daniel Darcy put Kermie Onius through in the tenth minute, and Kermie buried the chance. Alistair Fierschkosh then found Connor Hudson's right foot, and Connor blasted the ball into the upper 90. In the second half, Connor Moneybanks got his 10th goal on a right-footed shot from the tennis courts. The boys finished the regular season 9-1-2. Bennett will be offering physicals for all winter athletes on Saturday, October 22nd, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the trainer's room for $15. Please see Ms. Rose to schedule a time slot. And now, here is Mr. Serig with upcoming college visits for the next week. Good morning, I'm Mr. Sarig. Um, I'm responsible for all of your college visits to James M. Bennett High School. Just to let you know, next week we've got Eastern University on the 24th, Mount St. Mary's coming on the 24th as well, and on uh, October 28th, Stevenson University will be here um, at 1 o'clock. Anybody interested in any of those schools needs to sign up in guidance. Uh, just keep in mind you have to have a 2.0 GPA and be an 11th or a 12th grade student. And that's all we have for you today, JMB. Have a great day, JMB.